on earth will come to stay when we live Christmas every day. This is the heart of Christmas. The baby in Bethlehem's manger was a gift, a present from the loving Heavenly Father to his lost and hurting children. He didn't send a committee. He didn't write a book. He didn't send a substitute. No. When God got ready to save the world, he offered the best that he had. His own and only son. And in sending Jesus, he was really sending himself. This is the stupendous truth of Christmas. Emmanuel, God with us. Pope Francis said, The birth of Jesus brings us the good news that we are loved immensely and uniquely by God. He not only enables us to know this love, He also gives it to us. He communicates it to us. Let us listen to this conversation between God and the angels as He was preparing to send His only Son. My dear angels, 
as I am planning to send my beloved son to the earth, look and tell me if everything is ready in its place and if everything is prepared well. Is it time for me to act and send my son? Yes, Lord. Everything is ready. Have you found the stable and the manger? The shepherds and sheep? Especially the guiding star for the three kings with their gifts of frankincense, gold and myrrh in their bags. And especially the young couple called Mary and Joseph. I will tell you. Have you found the market town of Nazareth in Galilee? The workshop of Joseph the carpenter? The route to go to Jerusalem? And the doctors of the law? Yes, Lord. Everything is ready. There are also 30 silver coins being counted in secret. Will you not tell us why? I will tell you. Have you found the river Jordan where the baptism is waiting? The desert where the devil is hidden. The synagogue with the book of Isaiah. River bank, the boats and the net. And the twelve who would be ready to leave everything. And mountain to proclaim the good news. Lord, everything is ready. But there is also a robe of mockery being weaned in secret. Will you not tell us why? I will tell you. Have you found six jars for the wedding at Cana? A child with five slices of bread and two fish. The blind man and the house of Lazar at Bethany. Yes, Lord, everything is ready. But there are also a crown of thorns and three nails being prepared in secret. Will you not tell us why? I will tell you. Have you kept ready the palm leaves, the people on the road to sing? The man who 
carries a picture at the gate of the village. The upper room for the last supper with bread and wine, the servant's apron and a basin to wash the feet. found a garden of olive, 30 silver coins, a robe of mockery, a crown of thorns and three nails and a wooden cross being prepared in secret, I will tell you why. Was it not necessary that God should know suffering? Was it not necessary that God should know how to weep? Was it not necessary that God should know what does it mean to die? Was it not necessary because I am love itself? God sent his son to save the world through his passion and death on the cross. His every drop of blood was shed for our salvation and so his birth is a celebration of love, mercy and forgiveness in a world ravaged by war and violence, division and anger, poverty and arrogance, with the hope that Christ will take over our hearts and our world. Let us welcome the Lord into our hearts once again. child in a manger is really God who humbled himself and came to earth so that he should be with us. He knows everything about our hopes, dreams, worries and fears. He came as human to teach more human, simple and loving in our daily life. It is in him we find the strength for the challenges we face every day. It is Christmas each time we control our anger, forgive our enemies, give up the gossip and wish good for others and care for the poor.
God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life John chapter 3 verse 16 greetings and blessings of christmas to everyone present here we the students of grade 5 stand before you to deliver our speech on this special occasion christmas is the season of love joy peace harmony and celebrations every year we celebrate christmas on 25th of december as we all know jesus christ was born in the world that only knew greed hatred vengeance and hypocrisy in spite of all negativity that was spreading around the world as he grew old he eliminated all of it and taught everyone to love each other and to be grateful hence we celebrate christmas to remember jesus as a part of our celebration people light their homes with candles christmas decorations and christmas trees streets and shops are also decorated to mark the celebration you may see the festive mood setting in the beautiful christmas carols playing everywhere which really makes the ambience pleasant and joyous everybody with great enthusiasm and joy the gifts that we share with others reminds us of how god gave us his son jesus christ the greatest gift of all giving gift is meant to be a symbol of love kindness and remembrance of the gift of eternal life made possible by our savior through christmas we know that jesus birth is the beginning of great things in the world it is generally an opportunity to think about nature and reason for our existence i would like to conclude my speech stating that christmas is the time to be grateful it is the time to spread love and happiness it is the time to be with your loved ones it is the time to realize helping the poor is the noblest deed wish you all a merry christmas and a prosperous new year thank you